it's on the screen for you. <clears throat> what concepts can we apply? We got equal marks there. Turn it like this and then see. We got equal marks. So that's an isosceles triangle, please. Right. Then there is, there is also cyclic quadrilateral, four-sided closed figure. A circle is passing through the four corners there. Right. So cyclic quadrilateral, one side is extended there, another side is extended here. So we got exterior angle also, right? That's the concept. Do you agree this question is very simple by looking at the values that they gave you, right? Uh, look at 110. 110 is the exterior angle. Do you agree exterior angle is equals to interior? You're jumping inside and look at the opposite. So B should be simply 110, right? B should be 110, please, right? So that's the angle B. So well, we, we got one value there. B is known to us now. Then anything else? We need C. Well, we can't find C at the moment. Let's just wait, right? Uh, isosceles triangle. If you look at that, do you know any of the inside angles there? Nothing. Nothing is given to you, right? Okay. Is there a way you can find this angle? Come on, think. Is there a way you can find this angle? Please think. Right? That's a 110. Outside angle is 110. So inside angle should be 70. Right? 70. Come on, that's a straight angle, please. That's a straight line. So together it should be 180. Outside 110 and therefore inside it is 70. Now it makes sense. Now it definitely makes sense because it's an isosceles triangle okay then we know the top angle there these two are equal we know right you know how to find that okay people you know how to find that angle it's a 70 take it away from 180 we got 110 half off right 55 55 right we fill that now <clears throat> tell me about C tell me about C that's an exterior angle equals to interior opposite. If you need to go there, you don't know this part here. So you cannot say that's going to be 55. No, right? So we can use the straight line concept. Watch the straight line there. We can use that concept and find the value of C. We got 55 and we got 35. Come on, 55, 35. You're adding those two, right? Add those two. Uh, what do you expect the outside angle to be, right? 55 add 5, 60. 60 add 30, 90 it is. Obviously, that, that should be a 90, right? That should be 90 because 90 plus 90, 180. Tell me, what happens if they ask you to find this angle there, that tiny part of it? That's a 55. Do you agree together that corner, that complete angle there should be equal to 90? Because it's the exterior angle equals to interior opposite. So if that is going to be a 90, if this much is 55, you can know, you can easily tell what is that value. Well, they didn't ask us to actually find that value. Okay, right. <clears throat> so we completed 11 questions up to now right 11 sums let's just recollect all the rules that we learned the first rule from part one right angles in the same segment equal angles made by same chord same angle at the center is double the angle at the uh, circumference made by the same chord please the third rule was angle in a semicircle is a right angle. Angle made by diameter is 90. That's how you can, you can check. Those are the three. Uh, meanwhile, we also applied some rules from key stage two or one or three, right? Some of the three angles of a triangle. We said 180, all right, we just found. Straight angle concept also we have used, right? Then... <clears throat> We also looked at isosceles triangle. Do not forget, right? So those are the ones. 
today's uh, let's say in this lesson we also apply two rules from cyclic quadrilaterals opposite angles add up to 180 that's concept one only for a cyclic quadrilateral please then we said exterior angle equals to uh, interior opposite angle right so those are all those rules you got to know them right as you practice lots and lots and lots of sums it's easy it's very easy for you to attack these sums right now what what happens from the next sum onwards we may not deal with numbers we may deal with letters they may ask you to prove that this is is equal equal to that so just watch out right so you watch carefully I will explain very slowly right turn to page 4 you will actually see a uh, a sum all right number uh, page 4 please right it's a lovely question maybe carrying two or three marks there not more right uh, the full question is on the screen now please please watch that's how the full question is uh, a circle is there center point is there so we are happy diameter is not there okay now the line is extended well this has nothing to do with cyclic quadrilaterals please right the line is extended this line also is extended well those two meet at one one point they also gave you that these two lines are equal in length how do you know by looking at those marks there those two two or three three lines right they are equal that's all it is we do not know any numbers this angle is m here m it's denoted by m we don't know its value the angle outside there the tiny one small here please please watch the screen that's n that's all it is and they asked us to prove that m equals to 4n we are not dealing with numbers at all how to prove right this type of sums are very important right so let's see how we can prove this m means that angle is equals to 4 times this angle so if if n was a 20 m should have been 80 that's what they want us to prove it without taking any numbers you are not allowed to choose n as 10 or 20 or 50 you know you cannot we just got to use m and n and then apply all the laws that we have learned and see how we can prove that right let's concentrate on the isosceles triangle i'm going slow right isosceles tri triangle is on the screen for you now my dear friends two sides equal you agree with me if i say those two angles are equal right this is n given to me in the question can i say this is also n right that angle this angle should be equal according to the rules of isosceles triangle base angles are equal I'm not interested what is that angle not necessary let's just look at this is n so that also is n the reason base angles of an isosceles triangle right we stop there now let's let's turn it like this and then say is there a rule that we can apply from geometry of circles do you agree that this particular arc is making an angle at the center this arc is making an angle at the center watch there that's the one right uh, this arc is making an angle m the same arc is making another angle on the uh, circ circumference please right the same arc is making an angle there what do you expect that to be half of m right this is m it should be half of m angle at the top is half of the angle at the center all right so we don't write that now just just wait and look at this triangle now right it's a very important concept please the one that we are doing now is a very important one concentrate on triangle ACD alone just ACD triangle 
those two angles I know. What do you think of this angle here? What do you think of this angle uh, at this corner there? Let's just uh, look at that that one, please. This one I'm interested in. What is this angle? This is the exterior angle of a triangle. 